We've seen a nice little comeback in crypto this last month, with Bitcoin being up around 10%. But now everyone's starting to wonder, where is crypto going to go from here? Will it set new all-time highs or will it fall back into its bearish state? Who knows? But the verdict is really split right now, with many seeing bullish trends on the horizon and other people saying it's going to drop down even further than before. Ow! It went to zero! Yeah! That's why it's important to remember that timing the market is pretty much impossible because you know what they say, you make the most money from time in the market, not timing the market. That's why I'm going to go over coins that I think will do great in the short term, but are also fundamentally sound projects that you guys can invest in for the long term to grow your portfolios. So let's get into the coins that I think should be on your radar this upcoming month. Yo, 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 what is up, guys? It's your boy Forrest. And in today's video, I'm going to be going over my top three cryptos that you guys should be considering for this upcoming month of April. April. But before we get into today's video, if you guys want to earn crypto just for signing up, which I don't know who wouldn't, Coinbase gave me a special link where all you have to do is sign up and you guys will get to earn crypto. So if you guys want the crypto, all you have to do is click the link down in the description box below. Now, in my coin reviews, I like to dive deeper into the fundamental analysis surrounding the project. So it's use cases, it's traction, and everything else because I believe it's more beneficial for you guys in the long run as opposed to the technical analysis. Not to say that I don't use technical analysis though. So if you appreciate the research and the analysis that I'm bringing you. Make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe if you guys haven't already. I make videos all about money, finance, crypto, all that good stuff. So make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. All right, coming in at number one is Helium. Now, Helium is a decentralized wireless network that's setting out to change the whole process of getting wireless connection to low powered devices. Now, low powered devices such as GPS trackers, pet trackers, and weather meters, things that only need to transmit and share small bits of information. Today, the Helium team sees current wireless connection as too expensive, using too much power and not supplying enough cellular range, and plans on fixing this through a network of hotspots that run on a blockchain that people like me and you will be able to own and get paid for providing our wireless connection. Essentially, Helium's value comes from its network effect. The bigger the network Helium can create, the more the project will grow and become more useful. What I mean by this is currently Helium works in a way where these low power devices use these hotspots to transmit data with each other. And the more people that buy these hotspots and start providing wireless connection, the more the Helium network can grow. Now you've probably heard or seen these Helium miners which have been getting a ton of buzz lately where you essentially just set it up and then you can start making money from it. Now these hotspots cost around $400 and you can get paid by doing two things. One is just being a part of the network and validating other hotspots through something called proof of coverage which just means your device is verifying other hotspots in your area, making sure it's providing connection and verifying its location. The other way you can get paid is by how much data your hotspot helps devices transfer from one another. So the more data your hotspot transfers, the more you can get paid as well. And this sounds really good, but to play devil's advocate for a second, I have heard about people not making as much money from it because of weak signals. So if you live in a large dorm with a lot of concrete or from a lack of hotspots near you, you won't be able to make as much money. Hotspots work Work with each other. So if you live in a more rural area, you wouldn't be able to verify as many hotspots, which means you won't be able to make as much money. There's also a huge supply shortage for these hotspots. Most are going for double or triple its price on eBay. And if you're luckily able to grab one, have fun waiting because their shipping times are crazy long right now. So for those reasons, it's probably best to just buy Helium's native token HNT and bet on the network growing overall. That way you have the most exposure as early as possible. There's also one other thing I didn't mention about the tokenomics behind Helium, which is when these devices use Helium's wireless connection, they use something called data credits, and these can only be created by burning HNT. So with there being a limited supply of HNT already and its supply being reduced as Helium grows, this will only push the price of Helium up further in the future. And over the past 30 days, Helium has onboarded 76,000 new miners, which just shows that Helium is growing at a crazy fast pace. What's also interesting about Helium is when we look at the top layer one blockchain's revenue over the past 90 days, you'll see that it's actually beating Solana, which I was shocked about myself. When a project is actually producing money and growing, it's a really good sign that it will continue to do so in the future. And as long as the miners are being properly incentivized to keep providing wireless connection to these low power devices, I think Helium's $2.9 billion market cap has the potential to see a lot more growth. Because Helium Rewards is a relatively easy way for people to not only get involved in this really cool project, but also 
make some passive income on the side as well. And not to mention, Dish Network just announced a partnership with them as well, where they're going to be utilizing Helium's blockchain to deploy their own 5G hotspots to clients. So definitely keep an eye out for Helium in the near future. All right, looking at the price action for Helium, as always, I'm going to be using Lux Algo to show you guys. If you guys don't know what Lux Algo is, <laughs> I made plenty of videos about them. So if you guys are interested, you can watch those previous videos. I put them down in the description box below. But essentially, it's an indicator that tells you when to buy and sell um, any asset, whether it's stocks, crypto, Forex, anything that's on TradingView. Um, so if you can see over here, I can click on any of these coins over here and it'll automatically put in their signals. But pretty much it has four different signals. It has a, a buy, a sell, a strong buy, and a strong sell. And you guys can see all of them right here. There's a buy, there's a strong, and there's strong, strong, and a sell. And it's pretty self-explanatory when there's a strong signal you want to buy and when there's sell, obviously you want to sell. So this is great for like traders. Um, right over here, there was a strong signal. As you can see, the price went up over here. It went from $22 and like 50 cents all the way up to almost $24, $25. And then they gave a sell signal and the price came down over here. Now, that's just one of the features. They have a whole bunch of features. I don't want to talk about them this whole video. I want to talk about Helium. Helium is currently trading at around $25. Now, if you were to go to its all-time high, I think it was close to $50. It's all-time high right over here close to $60 it was all-time high now honestly speaking I think we can easily hit $60 and maybe even go to $100 for helium and the reason is because if we look at the website that helium provides where it shows how many hotspots they have there's over 666,000 hotspots in the world over 70% just in the last month alone uh, 51,000 cities and over 150 countries which all this just shows that helium is consistently growing like over 5,000 the past 30 days or five countries in the past 30 days, which is an insane number. So if over 70,000 new hotspots are being implemented every single month, or maybe even some months, it'll be more than that. Imagine what it'll do to the price if we continue this growth every single month. Also, a cool thing I want to show you guys now, I live in Chicago, so these are all the hotspots near you, but near me, but you can see how much certain hotspots are making. So if you click on like a certain area, you can click over here and you can see that in the past uh, 24 hours, it's made $2.86. The past 30 days, this has made around $74. So this is like, some great passive income for you to just plug this helium miner into your outlet and make an extra $75 a month. But going back to the price, like I said, I easily can see this hitting $100 in the future. And especially if we see another crazy bull run in the crypto market, $100 is very easily feasible. And if we go back to the four hour chart on the Lux Algo, um, we are also in a strong buy territory over here. We also saw the reversal on the oscillator premium. So these are all some great bullish signs for the price of helium. Like I said, if you guys want to check out Lux Algo, if you're a trader, or just want some added confirmation to your trades, I'll leave a link to it down in the description box below. Our next coin on the list is Quant. And boy, is this way different from anything else that we see in crypto today. For starters, Quant's goal is to try to make blockchains interoperable, which means they can communicate with each other. And I know what you're thinking, another interoperable coin. But trust me, I think you'll find Quant very interesting. See, Quant's network was created by a guy named Gilbert Verdian, who's basically a genius in the public and private sectors, having worked for EY, a HSBC, PwC, the Bank of England, and the US Federal Reserve. He also created the blockchain ISO standard, which is basically the backbone of blockchains that 60 countries follow when building their own blockchain technology. So he's kind of a big deal. And with a great founder, I'm sure you're expecting a great solution. And that's exactly what you're getting. With many interoperable projects, they all run on a blockchain. And when another blockchain joins the network, a new bridge has to be formed. And it's actually not a very seamless process to do. Gilbert saw this flaw and realized that companies needed a way to truly be interoperable with the blockchain, meaning all the blockchains they use can communicate with each other. And when they want to add another one to the network, it can't be a huge process that takes millions of dollars to do so. It needed to be a seamless process that's easy for the user. And to do this, he created something called an overledger, which is an operating system that sits on top of all the blockchains in the network. So Quant actually has no blockchain and doesn't plan to create one either. They plan to have this operating system act as the bridge to every blockchain in existence. Now, how this works is somewhat unknown because unlike most crypto projects that are open source and public, Quant patented this technology and is keeping it private. But we do know it's something similar to how Google does its Kuber meets, I think I said it right, technology, which is built for scaling and management. Quant aims to be the system that will connect ledgers across financial companies and even countries. Their focus is providing their product to large enterprises and companies. And I'm sure you can guess what these large companies have. Yep, a lot of money. So if they are successful, this would most likely be the most undervalued coin in the market right now. I mean, just think about it. If Quant becomes a standard in huge financial institutions and banks worldwide, that would be insane. Plus, I don't think it's that far off considering the partnerships they've 
already been able to build, such as Oracle and SIA, two extremely large companies that can influence how other companies believe and deal. And the main settling point here for Quant is how easy it will be able to implement this technology to companies' infrastructure. Since Quant's main goal is to bring this interoperability and ease of use for the user, they made this three-line API code, where all the bank would have to do is run that and their ledger systems would theoretically be on the network and up and running right away. So the bet here with Quant is adoption. If Quant can manage to gain adoption among all the huge Fortune 500 companies they are targeting, it would send this coin skyrocketing. And based on the past performance of the founder alone, I don't think that's a bad bet at all. All right, now looking at the price extra for Quant, currently it's trading at $124. Um, I'm on the four hour chart right now. If we go to its all time high, I think if we go to the one day, its all time high was close to almost $450. So we're down quite a bit like every other crypto is right now. But if we go back to the four hour chart, um, we can see that we are in a strong buy territory. If you looked at the Lux, Os Lux Oscillator Premium, we did have a reversal, but we're getting close to another reversal right here. So in the next couple of um, days, I see the price coming down a little bit more, probably hovering around like this. Um, if we look at the clouds, it is in a bullish territory because we are above the clouds. Um, so I see it coming down, like I said, a little bit over here to balance out around the, what is this, $100 and $120 price range. And lastly, coming in at number three, we have HBAR or Hedera Hashgraph. Now, HBAR is a consensus review algorithm that is said to be an alternative to the blockchain technology that we use right now. Hedera tracks its transactions and transfers information through its own patent hashgraph technology. So basically the founder of Hedera Hashgraph said, yeah, blockchains are great, but I think I can do better with that one. So what he did was create this consensus algorithm that works like gossip. You know how gossip spreads randomly like wildfire? Same thing here. With the goal of any blockchain or algorithm, you want the information or the transaction happen as quickly as possible and to use as little resources as it can. So what Hedera has done is created something known as the gossip to gossip model. And essentially how this works is once a transaction happens, the node tells another random node, then that node tells another random node, and so on and so forth. And actually by doing this random sequence, it allows the information to be spread much quicker, which is much more efficient. Now, this is a huge oversimplification of how this model works. There's a lot more going on behind the scenes. So without going too in depth on that and on the technology behind it, this is just a brief rundown of how it all works. And to no surprise, HBAR beats Bitcoin and Ethereum out of the water in terms of transactions per second at 10,000 versus 7 and 15 and transaction fees of 0.0001 compared to Bitcoin and Ethereum's, whose gas fees can range all the way up to $100. Now, Hedera isn't governed by DAO either. They are more of a centralized solution, which is what crypto is generally trying to stay away from. But instead, HBAR is governed by a council of heavy hitters. You've heard of these names such as Boeing, Google and LG, just to name a few. And how this council works is each of them has an equal voting right on decisions for the project, and they can only be on the council for six years. I think this is a great sign as fresh eyes will always be coming onto the project as the crypto industry is always changing really quickly. And that way, Hedera isn't stuck in the past as well. Now, there is a lot of uncertainty right now around Hedera, which could either be warranted or offer you a really nice price to get in at. There are definitely use cases for this technology that are similar to other blockchains and very large companies are already sitting on its board, which means that these companies are willing to take on this bet that this coin will be valuable in the future. So I think it really just comes down to if Hedera is worthwhile to these big firms or corporations, and if it can offer a better technology than the current blockchain. All right, and looking at the price action for Hedera Hashgraph, currently is trading at 21, very close to 22 cents. If we go to its all time high, I think it was close to almost 50, close to 60 cents, I would say, um, which is, like I said, we're down a lot as well. Um, if you go back to the four hour chart we can look at, we are in a strong buy territory. If you go down to the two hour chart, even uh, we should also be in a strong buy territory. But usually when I make my trades, I'm on the four hour chart because I'm more of a long term person. But we have a strong signal over here. The clouds are kind of bullish, but um, it's not as high as I would like it for the price to come down. Uh, we are seeing a close reversal right over here in the oscillator premium. Overall, I think Hedera Hashgraph has a lot of room to grow. And I hate to say this, but it does play a factor, especially in crypto. The 
price of it is very, very cheap. Like if we talked about Quant, it was $125. Helium was $25, whereas Hedera Hashgraph is only 21 cents. And with a lot of people coming into crypto space, not even new ones, but even old ones who are been in the game for a while, for some reason, they all love uh, the cheaper coins, mainly because they think they can make so much more money with it. Because if it goes to a dollar, um, you know, you're four extra money. And just psychologically seeing the price go from 25 cents or 20 cents to a dollar is easily attainable or easily seeable than for a price to go from $100 to $400. So because the price is very cheap as well, I see I see a lot of potential for Hedera Hashgraph's price to go um, very high. Like I said, it was 60 cents was the all time high. I, honestly, with any other crypto bull run that we're going to see in the near future, I think it'll be its all time high very easily. So those were my top three crypto picks for the month of April. As always, do your own research before you invest and let me know which coins you guys think will have some crazy potential down in the comment section below. Also, if you guys are interested in buying crypto, I suggest checking out crypto.com they have all the top cryptos you guys would ever like to buy so if you guys are interested i'll leave a link to it down in the description box below and as always i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll see you guys in next week's video peace